Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be covering the Tableau equivalent of the SQL in function. Now this is a little bit of a hack. Uh, Tableau doesn't support using the SQL in function, but there is a way you can sort of create it uh, without actually having to uh, to use that specific function. And the way we're going to do that is by uh, using this data set with some car information. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag drive wheels out onto the row shelf here. And you can see that we have two types of drive wheels. We have four wheel drive, front wheel drive, and rear wheel drive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine front wheel drive and rear wheel drive into a field that is just two wheel drive. So I have four wheel drive and two wheel drive. And to do that, uh, first of all, I'm going to do it the way that Tableau uh, sort of asks you to do with an if statement. So let me create that field here. All right, now this calculation is valid, and you can see that what we've done is we've said that if the drive wheels are in uh, front-wheel drive, then we want it to be two-wheel drive, else if the drive wheels are in rear-wheel drive, then we want it to be in two-wheel drive, else uh, four-wheel drive. Now, this works fine, except that if we had a lot of different options for drive wheels, say, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten options for drive wheels, this will become really, really unwieldy, and we'd have to type out a lot of different else if statements, which can get really annoying. Now, the way SQL solves that is that we would just give it a list of front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive, and then combine those together and then just have one if statement that gave us the two wheel drive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use the contains function in Tableau to do just that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a calculated field here. We're going to say contains four slash two wheel drive. Then we're going to say if and then this function contains takes two strings. So with the first string that we're going to type is two wheel drive, comma, or sorry, it's going to be front wheel drive, comma, rear wheel drive. And then we're going to put drive wheels in as the second part. And what this is going to do is this is going to see whether the string drive wheels is in front wheel drive or rear wheel drive separated by this comma. And then we can say, then we want it to say two wheel drive else four wheel drive and all right so let's go ahead and take this we're going to take this one and drag it out you can see that we've got four wheel drive two wheel drive two wheel drive and then we're going to drag out this contains version that we just created and you can see that we've created the same thing so what it's doing is it's just checking whether that string either fwd or rwd exists in the comma separated string that we gave it. One of the things you want to do is make sure you put a comma between all your strings because otherwise you may find that you inadvertently get things uh, flagging as included when they're not included if it happens to be like the end of one string and the beginning of another string. That's something to be careful of but if you put that comma in there normally it takes away that problem. So that is a quick primer on how to use the uh, in function in Tableau without the option to actually use the in function. If you would like the data to follow along with this particular example, there is a link in the video description. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And if you like what you hear, then please subscribe to our channel. And we will see you next time.